Hi, I'm Felicity Ray, I'm from PA Consulting. I work within our health and life sciences practice and working predominantly with the NHS to improve hospitals, make things work more efficiently. Um, we are here at the North Cambridge Academy today working with Year 9s to get them to understand and come up with an environmental solution um, and a, a product. They have then been working throughout the day to hone that and define it a bit more, pitching within their classrooms uh, to, to create a kind of lead product and then they are going to go in their final assembly to pitch, to pitch against each other before picking a winner that we would, in a hypothetical world, take forward for investment. We've had some really brilliant ideas in my class, so and they've been quite a range. So from one which is looking at um, a speed bump that is made out of a non-Newtonian fluid. So if a driver is driving at the right speed, it feels like a liquid, they can just drive straight over it. Whereas if someone is speeding, uh, then it would turn into a solid and would feel like a, a kind of big speed bump and therefore encourage drivers to drive at the correct speed. Um, but then all the way to a um, plastic book cover for textbooks um, for students to use in, in this school themselves that is decomposable and that they can then scale and, and, and kind of uh, sell to the rest of the, rest of the, the UK um, and kind of reducing plastic waste and use within schools. The students have been really engaged throughout, they've had some really great ideas, they've worked together well as teams. It's been really interesting seeing the formation and teams coming together and how that uh, changes throughout the day. So at the start they were a bit more hesitant about sharing ideas but then you really saw that change over time, people speaking up, being more vocal, especially when they understood the different roles that they could play within the team. So people that were more creative, they started drawing a logo, they started <coughs> coming up with a slogan versus people that may be more analytically minded, so just discovering the and discussing the pricing um, structures. Uh, towards people that maybe show more leadership, so making sure that people are keeping to time and delivering uh, within the timescales that we gave them. It's been hugely, hugely valuable and I hope that we feel like we've given back to the students and that they've learned something today around a little bit, taking them out of the classroom and understanding what it's like to work in a business, that it's different, it's not right or wrong, you're, you're not gonna score an answer, um, and that things that might seem a bit out there, it might seem unattainable, actually they could be very valid businesses. Some of the businesses that were, was discussed in my class I actually know exists um, in Canada for example. Um, so it's actually really exciting to see that they've developed some ideas that are actually already out there um, and are already being used today. It's really great actually to be here as part of PA because you get to meet different people that you don't work with in your day to day. Um, I, um, typically work at the London office where I've been meeting people that work in the Cambridge office and um, we work across different capabilities and it means that my network has expanded within PA. I'll know if I need somebody for cyber security, I'll bring in Kat. If I need someone that's got much more of a product background, um, I'll bring in Lynn. So it's, it's just brilliant just to take time out and also to feel like you're giving back. I think it's so valuable and I know that it gives me energy when I get back into my day-to-day -day world that we've given something back to our local communities. I went to school in Cambridge, I feel like this is my home. So being able to have the opportunity to give back, especially to, to young children um, uh, and kind of, encourage them to think about this might feel very different and alien and out there at the moment but you could do that you want to be an electrician great this is part of what building a business will be like if that's what you want to do through being an electrician so there's just so many examples today that i think will just give us kind of the passion and, and make sure that we uh, continue to deliver great work in what we do